Hi, good evening. Hey, Ananya. How are you? Hi, Linda. I'm good. You love the mandalas. By the way, oh, really? Was I very fast, Linda? Uh, okay so uh, thank you you like the mandala and this is the one which we are working and we are just done till this level and i completed all the petals i hope you also completed yours and next week we will start our color mandala this one so bring your all the supplies and I know today is Saturday evening and you guys have your own plan but still you are with me so thanks a lot and this is the one which we made yesterday and every single day every single night we are making one spiral they all are similar still they all are different and after drawing this you can add your own colors own elements in all these shapes they all are really very pretty and beautiful abstract pattern and they don't take much time maximum in half an hour we finish all the pattern most of the time uh, they are just like the spirals sometimes we add few uh, tricks in them few techniques like as you can see in this one little different technique in the center part so just to add a little more element we add these and yes tomorrow we are going to continue with our this zen doodle pattern and we are going to shape them and start the new one let's start our today's spiral art we need six inch by six inch paper and black marker pen thick and thin you can just use one pencil for the shading or any blending tool you can use either the q-tip or the blending stuff so we are keeping them aside right now and as you guys know first thing is to draw the boundary going to draw our today's string hey today's string is beautiful okay I'm not telling the name so as you see here in that kind of half so in the very center I'm drawing one this line and I'm drawing kind of the triangle here in the very center and drawing two more lines like this triangle on the top triangle on the top triangle on the top and joining it so this is a little diamond in the center <laughs> I'm not sure Ananya and after this we are going to draw the double line of this diamond is our today's string now I'm waiting for you guys to catch up and draw the string I'm keeping my pen at the corner and now I'm picking up my this 
little thick little thinner pen and we'll start from the center and here is a very little twist in the center part of this gem and or the diamond whatever you want you can say and please let me know shall I start I'm waiting for you guys do you want me to wait or shall I go ahead okay I think let's start now so I'm starting from these two corners first so look carefully this is a little different uh, spiral here we are going to start from this bottom point we'll go up mm. let me change my pen okay now I and then I'm going to just go over the little line here and then again so all lines will join this bottom corner like this thank you Ananya thank you Aruna here also we will do exactly the same way I'm just keeping it this side so that it's easier for me and you guys can also see it my hand will not cover it so in this pattern twist in the beginning so here is a little twist in the beginning and then in the center okay I'm waiting for you guys to catch up with these two parts and then here is a little twist in the center part also and then rest are the basic spirals which we always do in our all pattern Thank you, Uma. Now, in the center part, we'll start from the center, bottom, we'll go up. We will not touch anywhere, okay? We'll just make the triangle and we will join the triangle to the bottom. So, just one point touch, like the way we did in our side parts. that's it so we did the twist in the very beginning now and now we'll start our spirals okay so I'm starting the spiral in this first triangle from this base and I'm going clockwise going up first please write down in the chat if you want me to wait or slow down or any other questions if you have Now in this top one, I'll start from this top and I'll go anti-clockwise. Bye. If you use little 
thinner pen in these blocks then it will look prettier because these are little thinner blocks but you can use whatever pen or pencil you have it's absolutely fine now as you can see the here is a half fan so we'll start from this bottom corner and we'll go clockwise Now I will start from this top and will go anti-clockwise. Now I'm finishing this last triangle and then I will wait for you guys. Please write down in the chat when you guys are done so that we all can go ahead together. And let's continue our tradition. Whoever is drawing with me, please write down one and whoever is just enjoying watching drawing me, please write down two. Thank you, Ananya. Thank you, Uma. Thank you, Ananya. Thank you, Aruna. Now we'll start working on this top corner, top right corner as our usual artwork and I hope the focus is right and we'll start from this top corner this one and we'll go clockwise. Try to draw your lines as close as neat as possible. Thank you, Nirja. That's it. I'm making this line a little more thicker, the second line here, before I go ahead to give it a little more depth. Yes. 
it and now i will start so that you know i want so that the diamond shape will uh, like uh, it will it will not hide in, in all the spirals okay shall i move forward i hope you guys are catch up well with me now we'll start from this right top corner and we'll start from this top and we'll go anti-clockwise so if you guys want you can also make the double line of the diamond that will bring your diamond you know a little more like uh, visibly more appealing or clear shape turning it around so that it would be better for me The fun is when you don't pick up your pen and you keep on drawing a complete spiral then you really feel very amazing. I feel, so I don't know about you but I think if I feel that you also feel the same way when you, when you don't pick up your pen and you keep on drawing. Hi Pratima. How is it looking? Isn't it looking beautiful crown over the diamond? So now it's the time we are going to draw this right one. Hi Vitu. So I am just making sure that is Rituji is same as the Ritu who yes Ritu you submitted this acrylic art today right you made after so long and you submitted the other one also this one beautiful and uh, we Ankita conducted this session and Sneha also and your uh, little kid beautiful Amrita Rashmi and beautiful artwork you made Ankita also was very happy to see all of your submissions and you guys did awesome beautiful oops I did this line double here because I stopped in the center when I see Rituji so uh, just strike me I saw your submissions beautiful mm. 
now we are going to work in this top one here and we'll start from this bottom point and we'll go anti-clockwise After drawing this if you want you can use colors you can use any metallic color or any bright color for the diamond in the center later on or if you just want to keep it as a classic you can just keep it black and white and use maybe the gray marker pen or the graphite pencil for the shading that is absolutely your choice or just the black marker pen to increase the weight of the lines like the way I increase the weight of the line of this diamond in the beginning because I don't want to ruin my spirals at the end so I did it in the beginning Here you go. Hi Julia. As you see my paper is a little turning up so I'm just giving it a little up opposite side fold like that just to keep it straight. Here you go and I'm good. How is the pattern looking guys? Hey we are running out of time. Let's just finish and in this one we'll start from this left corner and we'll go clockwise. I can't wait to see your submissions guys I know you guys are going to put lots of your own elements and beautiful colors or maybe lines so don't forget to submit your artwork and if you are not at my discord and if you are new here so join the discord and at the discord you will get the link and get the link for the submission of your artwork where you can see other participants artwork also and yeah that's a nice art community here So when you see there is a very less space you can just switch to the shape like to the square to the triangle kind of like that to the corner. I really like when I don't pick up the pen and I keep on drawing until I reach to the core of the spiral. And now we'll work on our last section and we'll start from this center corner and we'll go anti-clockwise.
so in when in the beginning when the block is really big so it's always nice to little bit rotate your paper so that you won't mess up and you get good lines but it's absolutely optional that is how I feel you can go ahead whatever you feel like a lot of people use ruler when they get the big lines so that is also absolutely fine you can keep a small ruler but I would love to go freehand Thank you, Ritu. Here you go. It's a beautiful stand and the diamond and the crown. You can. Now I'm using my graphite pencil and with the graphite pencil I'm making this first. I'm making this crown here. Near the crown I'm laying down the graphite then near these two shape here on the both corners and then near this diamond shape where I drew the thick line I'm just going over near that shape bottom and then I'm using the q-tip and I'm blending it And here I'm doing the soft blending in just this area and this area. That's it. I hope you guys enjoy the pattern and that's all guys for today and at the very last 
we always what we do we do our sign our initials and today's date is the first thing we always do so I'm writing my initials and I'm writing the date 6 27 20 and the very last thing and the most important thing is to praise your artwork this is a beautiful artwork beautiful abstract design original design good job Nidhi Prakash now it's your turn to shout out your name at your home at your place and say some good words to yourself and to your artwork and that's all thank you everybody for joining me today see you tomorrow same time and tomorrow morning we are going to work on our zen doodle pattern which we started last week we are going to do all the shading it's like that we are going to do all the shading and complete this and we'll start our new pattern bye bye